All right, so this is something new that we just got for the computer. Uh, it's a TV tuner, and we also got a media center remote for the computer. Um, and that came with this new infrared sensor that uh, it plugs into a USB port and I just have the cord running under the Xbox so that uh, that's sitting there where the remote can see it but this TV tuner is just that plugs into the USB port too and you plug in your coax cable either from uh, like a rabbit ear antenna or a big antenna on your roof or in the attic um, or to cable TV and so that's the TV tuner right there and it's plugged into the cable uh, going to Comcast cable which is actually disconnected um, but even when it's disconnected there are still some channels quite a few actually that you can get uh, to come through um, so that's just plugged into a USB port in the back of the computer this is the computer it's very small it sits at the base of the TV so let me push all that back where it was. I just had that pulled out to show you. Um, there's That's the connect for the Xbox. So the computer is really tiny and it just sits there at the base of the TV. Uh, there's the TV. It's currently on the Windows desktop. And so we just get the remote and press start and that will launch Windows Media Center. I guess I have to aim it, or no, I got it. And then you can use the arrows on the remote to navigate around, um, up and down. We've got Netflix is in there. Um, for TV you can navigate over to live TV or there's a button that you can push just to go straight to live TV let me turn off that overhead light so that's TV on the PC oh it's telling me I can't do anything because it's recording. I'm just going to cancel that recording. And we can push a button here and pull up the guide. And the guide, you can search by title or I think there's a lot of different ways you can search. Keyword, categories, actor, director. Um, you can view what you, your channels, like these are the channels we have that are HD. So, you can go to the unit. I guess their timing is off right now because of something that they ran earlier tonight. I forgot what it was, but I remember now that their timing is off. So let's go back to the guide. We'll just scroll down. Storage Wars on the A&E. I thought I canceled the recording. Oh no, I gotta click here instead of cancel. Alright. So if I click there, that'll cancel the recording. Now it's gonna change channels. And you can pull up information. It's program info. Details. And zoom. Uh, there's a lot of different aspect ratios on different shows, so it helps to have zoom. Um, 
And then we've got a button we can go to recorded TV. I recorded Fringe earlier. So we can go to that. And so now we're going to go from live TV to something that was recorded with the DVR feature, uh, which is just built into Windows Media Center. So we'll press play. And we can pause live TV, or sorry, this is recorded TV. You can do it in live TV too. Um, press play. Fast forward. They're doing some coverage about the flooding before the show started. And then Fringe does start eventually. <laughs> There it is. Okay. Then when you get to a commercial break, you can either fast forward like I just did, or there's another button where you can just kind of skip forward a few times. And you can stop that. Then you can, um, Let's go back to the guide. Like I said, even though the cable's cut off, we still have lots of cable channels. Not really sure why. And it also has um, internet TV. This is just CBS prime time, which includes Survivor. And so now it's switching from uh, the TV tuner to this is stuff that it's pulling from CBS's website. And you can play those episodes using the same interface as what you use for the TV tuner. Now one thing I've noticed with the internet TV is when it first starts, it's kind of jerky. Um, until it buffers a little bit. Previously on Survivor. Jeff, I'm a former special agent. You are a crazy person. Before the merge, both tribes were right with infighting. David under pressure is really stressful. You're freaking wrong there. Don't even go there with that. I then you just press stop, just like you would normally if you were watching regular TV. Um, let's see. We'll go back to the guide. I guess I gotta. Oh, and there's an there's a part on this wheel is for when you're navigating in Windows Media Center. This is a mouse, so we can press this button, and it'll go to the default web browser. And then we can use this one to move the mouse around. And then this is a left mouse click and a right mouse click. So I'm going to left mouse click into my email. And I use Windows magnification tool just because I can't see very well. Um, so I have, I have my resolution high, but I zoom in on it, and then I use the mouse to just kind of move the screen around to see what I need to see. So I'm not sure if I clicked that link right to open up Facebook. No, it didn't work. I just opened the email. All right, so we're going to click, and that'll take us over to Facebook to that comment thread. And then there's my post on Facebook about the TV card. So we've got a close button that'll close the web browser. If I aim it right. Now we're back in Windows Media Center. And click that close button again. Now close Windows Media Center and take us back to the desktop. And that's it. We've got our internet and our TV uh, both running through the PC on the same source. So